What's up, riders? Thank you for coming back for another one. Today's video, pretty straightforward one. We're going to be working on this Iron 883. Just doing a simple oil change for my brother. Fun little bike. So you got the kit right from Harley. So this is what you get, the oil change kit. You get your gasket for the oil filter, you get your Supreme black oil filter, I guess it's better than the regular one, and you get four of these from 20W50. So, on these bikes it's pretty straightforward. First thing you need to do, remove, let's see, I have no idea to take this there we go. Weird shape. Remove the oil filler cap. So you don't create a vacuum when you pull the oil plug and you try to drain the oil. On this bike in particular, your, oh, let's get some more light. Your oil drain plug is right here. <laughs> Try to bring that closer to you. Is this guy right here? It's actually a loose hose, and it's got this racket. Pop off right there, just like that. And we're gonna put this guy here. Pretty simple. You just put your flathead screwdriver in there, pull the plug, and drain it. Let me grab my screwdriver and we'll get that started. So we're just going to loosen this guy up some. Probably should be able to pull right out after a while. And find us some juice. Get this guy pouring in there. So we're gonna let that drain. Once that drains, we're gonna return the plug and attack the oil filter. So we have a little oil here today. Must have been a little on oil. So if you're new to the channel, thank you for coming. We do reviews, rides, everything. This is my old Ford Dyna lowrider that we're working on. I've got a 21 Road King Special that I'm always working on and you know, bikes like this tend to pop in every now and then. So as we let that drain, I'll show you guys this. This is where your oil filter goes. So let me get my hand in there and just unscrew it with my hand. And then we'll just Swap the new one in, add the oil, and we're good to go. Okay, so we're ready to a little while for the rest of the oil drain. Oil can be pretty low in this. Real straightforward. Slide that sucker right back in. That would have been too easy. And that's all there is to it. Let me try to get you guys a better look there. So that's done. We're going to slide the drain pan over to the oil filter. Alright. Give her that. Boy, 
I think it's got a good grip. Okay, right tool for the job. Um, that sucker's on tight. ready okay so they say to pour a little bit of oil in there so the first time you start it it doesn't get started dry and then you know you want to put some oil on in this to create a good seal so we're going to do that. We drop the good stuff. Nothing crazy. We don't want it to spill out. We're trying to put it on. Screw this bad boy on. And I believe they say hand tight, and then after hand tight, for the turn. Grab one of my mini shop rags laying around the shop. That's in there. I'm gonna go around to the other side. Oh yeah, look at that. Good job, buddy. Okay, I think I found a good spot for the camera. Um, Sportsters take, I believe, two quarts of oil. We did prime the oil filter with a little bit. So, we'll pour the rest of this one in. Cat back on, open the garage door. Got funny shape up. There we go. All right, I think we should fire it up.
run for a little bit. Let's step outside the garage. It's a little quiet around here. There's the Road King. Just today, I actually snapped my cable clutch line. Follow us on Instagram, you see those pictures. On the way to work of all things. Not the first time this cable has popped. I actually did try the one finger levers. And um, yeah, the, uh, the dealership told me that, you know, that was the reason why the cable popped and I had to come out of pocket where it would normally be on the warranty. But now it's popped with the factory lever. So, this will be picked up tomorrow. Hopefully it's on the warranty. Good guys at Alligator Rally normally take care of me. But that's for another video. Let's go back here. I think I can squeeze a couple more bikes in here, guys. All right, we're gonna turn her off and let her settle for a minute, and we'll check the oil again. So we did the oil change. Check the oil level after. Levels were good. Just took it around the block a little bit here for a spin. Got to move up. Um, I do see a couple lights on. There's some other issues with the bike we're gonna take care of. Oh, easy job, hot head screwdriver. Um, oil filter wrench. Really, anybody can do this. This is a fun little bike. If you like the video, do us a favor, give us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment below, what do you want to see next? You never know what kind of bike is going to show up in my garage. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Appreciate all the love on social media. Until next time. I'm out.